it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing my second review video of 2018. I'm not gonna be starting all my review videos like that, but whatever. <laughs> um, so today I'm going to be talking about Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This book is a YA contemporary book that deals with a girl named Kath who is going to college for the first time and she has some anxiety, um, social anxiety, and yeah, she's being separated from her twin sister and she's really used to kind of sticking with her and so she's on her own kind of thing. And it's about her and she writes fan fiction for like a similar kind of Harry Potter kind of thingy. It's called Simon Snow. It's similar to Harry Potter. And that's what she does in her free time. I'll start off by saying a quick disclaimer is that I personally did not enjoy this book very much. I gave it two stars and I have reasons why so chill before you dislike this video but I did this with my friends Jesse and Kayla and we both all like we all felt the same way about it and it was it wasn't funny but it was kind of weird how we all didn't like it it's considering we all like had we all thought we would really enjoy it so it was just really surprising but let's get into the review the first part of this will be spoiler free and then we'll get into some spoilers first up let me pull out my phone which has my goodreads review on it we're gonna put this somewhere we're gonna put it near uh, voldemort all right so things that i actually enjoyed about this book was one was the anxiety representation though i wish we had more of it um, I really liked and like appreciated the way it was described. So a quote from it I have was, to take anxiety, she felt like black static behind her eyes and extra hard in her throat and shove it all the way down to her stomach where it belonged, where she could at least tie it up in a nice knot and work around it. And there's obviously the relationship with Kath and Levi, which is on the back of the book, so it is not a spoiler, but there were some things I liked, like, um, not gonna lie, at the beginning, I was really loving Levi, just his... I don't know the way he was described he was described as like smelling like coffee and cologne which is kind of like something I like um and then there's just a few things that I like that are more spoilery but that's about it <laughs> and yeah it wasn't horrible like I wasn't I was just kind of meh throughout the whole book but like you know, I never thought about DNFing it, so it wasn't like that. Getting into my actual issues with this book. So we'll start off with my, obviously my cons with this book. So there was many offensive jokes made about this book. And I feel, and like so do like Jesse and Kayla, we were saying that like, if this was in any other book, it would be highly criticized. But because it's in a fangirl, like I've never seen anybody talk about it before. So one quote that says, are you one of those freaky eaters? Which again, you may not think this is a big deal. But like really because Kath is like only eating like granola bars at one point because she ha she's stressed and like she doesn't want to leave her room and then the her roommate's like are you one of those freaky eaters and I'm like oh jeez. Not to mention Levi making jokes about gay couples constantly so Simon Snow is actually a gay fan fiction that Kath writes so he literally goes up and says do you have to make gay homemade Simon Snow posters? Is it your job to make Simon gay? Like I'm like really can you like relax man and like stop like really like uh. And then there's some things with her dad that goes on later in the book so i'll talk about that in the spoilers but there's a few jokes that are made that says because he's north bipolar that's not a joke like are you kidding me and then there's another one that says because the chimneys make him claustrophobic like are you kidding me like did no one really notice any of this and it's just surprising to me like i get why people like like part of me gets why some people like it but like i scrolled down my goodreads everyone that I follow has given it five stars and it's just like I get that it can be relatable for some people who are going to college or the anxiety representation but I just felt like for a book that is said to have such great representation for mental health they are constantly making fun of other mental illnesses and other thing like oh my god I couldn't. Beth and Levi were so gross near the end of this book that it really bothered me. Well no I'll talk about this in my spoiler okay. So here's the thing with carry on like at first i was kind of liking it like and then i just stopped caring so i'm not gonna be reading carry on but um then there was like this cliche of like ren the outgoing twin and then kath the uglier and quieter twin who doesn't go out much and she was constantly shaming ren for like going out and then this book could have dealt with alcoholism so well but it just totally skimmed over it and like a page later everything wrapped up fine was so jealous of everything like the quote is she hated listening to him talk to other people 
huh? Kath constantly threw around the word crazy because there is some things going on with her father and she constantly is like, oh, I'm so crazy like him. Um, oh my God, he's so crazy, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I felt like a lot of things were like skimmed over or implied, but they were just never said or stated fully. And there was just so much sugar coating about so many topics and that was just really sad to see because I felt like it could have made such an impact with the topics that the book was talking about. Not to mention Kath thinks she's honestly top shit. Like she goes around saying, because I'm writing Gemma T. Le Leslie's character sometimes in some ways I'm better than her. The fuck? Then there's Levi who's literally a conformist and goes around saying, I don't really smoke unless someone else is smoking too. Okay. And then Reagan goes, Kath and Reagan, like their conversations. One, I can relate to like Reagan, I partly liked, but partly didn't. Like I liked her in the way that she was like one of the only like semi-interesting characters in the book, but she like they're talking, they're like, and no being a horrible narcissistic bitch who goes off on her ex-boyfriend's affection. Like, can we relax? Okay, I'm gonna talk a little bit about spoilers. So stick around if you have read this book or you don't care about being spoiled, stick around and we could talk about it a little bit. But if you've read this book, then if you haven't read this book, you might want to leave. <laughs> Basically, when I was talking about the alcoholism components in this book, so we know that near the end of the book, um, Ren goes through a really hard time. She's in the hospital. And then it's funny because a page later, she's fine. Like, I felt like it could have done so much more with alcoholism and could have really talked about the risks of, like, teens and, like, new adults and alcoholism and alcohol alcoholism in a social setting and at college and just totally skimmed over it and it was like oh she's fine now not how it works like i don't get why that happened obviously the things going on with kath's dad which again it was never really stated what he was going through um i know i've seen a lot of people say it was bipolar representation i'm not sure we barely got much insight to the dad all we got was um Kath kind of being upset about things that he's going through and again but if there's bipolar representation why do they joke about bipolar disorder like okay I get joking about some things can make it seem like not as bad or there's like dark humor but like really and like no one talks about it too like it's the fact that I've never seen anyone mention it like it wasn't even there like did I even read the same book as everybody else like I'm very confused and I don't mean that offensively of course it's just my opinion so relax then there was the relationship between Kath and Levi. This was the grossest thing I've ever seen in my life. One, I used to like both of them at the beginning, but okay, like, no, not anymore. And then there's Nick, by the way, who is just there for, like, no reason. Like, why is Nick there? I don't know. Then there's also Kath handing in her fan fiction to a professor. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I'm not in college or university, but I already know that I would not hand that in to a high school teacher, an elementary school teacher, anybody, you you don't hand in fan fiction. Like at least change up the names and change up the general concept of the fan fiction or else like they'll know it's fan fiction. So like chill. <laughs> there was a thing that bothered me the most which was um, Kath and Levi's relationship towards the end of the book. So basically they're talking about having sex. Okay, great, okay. And <clears throat> he's talking about how he wants to please Kath or whatever. And he goes, do you want me to show you on a doll? Did anyone else not think this was super weird? Like, not to mention, like, when someone gets sexually assaulted, especially a child, they usually show, like, the police officer or a social worker, like, on a doll. And, because they don't want to talk about it or whatever. And, but no, he asks her to have sex this way. On a doll. Like, showing her on a doll? When that's used... Oh my god, I like I just couldn't. How is it that romantic at all? Like that bothered me so much. And then also near the end, he goes, as long as you're reading, you let me touch you. Okay, so she's comfortable reading. She's just like, I want to read great. And he's like, then you let me touch you. Okay, ew. <laughs> so basically, those were some of my problems with Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Again, please chill in the comments. Like, you can hate some books that I like, like everyone has their own opinions. And if you did love this book, please let me know why down below or why you didn't like this book. And I was super nervous to make this video, but um, 
I posted a review on Goodreads and like a lot of you guys were saying that you felt the same way and how no one talks about how they dislike Fangirl and I know Jessie's already put up her review so I will link hers down below and as well as her channel and Kayla's channel. I'm not sure if Kayla is going to be coming out with a video soon about it but if she does I'll have her channel linked down below and the video if it drops. Thank you guys so so much for watching. If you are new here be sure to follow me on any of my other social medias so I have all of them linked down below. My Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Pinterest, Goodreads, all the shit. It's down below. Um, and thank you guys so so much for watching. I'll see you super soon. Bye! The